It is Jacob so I will get Tonight I'm doing some fishing outside on the local pond and I wanted to share with you guys a tip uh, using a regular fishing pole, it could be a spin cast pole, it could be a pan cast pole, uh, pan fish pole, uh, it can be uh, just any type of pole, it could be a cane pole or anything to fish with a fly. Um, fly fishing without using fly, fa fly fishing uh, gear or uh, a fly fishing setup. So, over here on the side, I have a spin cast pole already set up. Show you how this works. Now, for demonstration purposes tonight, so I can see where I'm casting at, I am also going to be using this is a uh, these are light sticks. You can buy them in five packs. And what you do is you take a uh, they're they're real, they're real small. They're miniature size. Oh, crap it. And you take it and you can crack them. They're chemical, just like any other light stick. You shake them up. You take a rubber band and you wrap this directly around your bobber, and it will glow and glow and glow. And wherever you cast at, you're going to see it in the water. And and in this particular case, I have my I have a reclosable swivel here at the very bottom. Now I, I can attach a regular, uh, I can tie a polymer knot to my fly or a blood knot or whatever I want to do, uh, improve, improve uh, clinch knot directly to my fly, but just for demonstration purposes tonight, I'm just going to use a swivel. <coughs> I have my bobber. My bobber is a weighted bobber. This is the important part about casting flies. This is what makes it possible. So fly fishing is a heavy fly line. We use the heavy fly line to cast the line out in different motions to get it to actually go out towards the water because our fly is virtually weightless and we want to get it to our target. With regular fishing, most of our weight is on our lure and our line is virtually, virtually weightless so we're casting our line out. But to use this, for instance, is monofilament line, whether it's monofilament or braided. Um, we're going to be using a weighted bobber. A lot of times you'll see clear bobbers, or you'll see uh, people take a bobber and they'll uh, attach um, a few uh, removable slip shot sinkers near the bobber or whatnot. But in this particular case, I just have a particular bobber, and as you can see uh, before, it, it, it attaches to the line there's a hook on this side and a hook on this side if I press on the bobber itself the hook comes out so I can reattach the fishing line so I take my bobber by itself before it's attached I take one of these particular guys I wrap it around with a rubber band so it holds it on to the bobber and now I can cast my bobber out and I can see where my bobber is actually going nighttime daytime I don't I don't need that at all just the bobber the weight of the bobber is going to send my line out. My fly is going to be attached about two to three feet away from my bobber, the other end. This is going to be cast out. This is where I'm, ca I'm casting this out to my destination. Once that hits the water, my fly hits the water. My fly will do its business, whatever. If I get a bite or if it's pulled, I'm going to see this move regardless because what weighted bobbers do, like uh, unlike other ones weighted bobbers actually stand straight up in the water so you can see it bob you can see it move however it goes plus it's got the at nighttime it's got the light on here and these last I've had these last all night before and the next morning I give them a little shake and they're keep on going they last a long time buy them at Walmart three to five pack for like four or five bucks or you can buy them uh, on AliExpress look on the app for your uh, iPhone or Android or, or, or wish.com uh, You'll find these um, in 50 packs for like under eight dollars. So that's what I'd recommend. So I think this one was AliExpress, if I'm not mistaken. You see that one floating around? That's a good one. So I'll go ahead and attach a bait to here real quick. Let me set this down.
So as far as our fly tonight, uh, I know it's not really an actual fly. It's kind of in between. I'm going to be using one of the uh, Betts Poppin' Hots. Okay, as you can see here. But it can be, it can be even a, a lightweight bait that, that uh, you just can't cast. Uh, from a grub to uh, artificial bait to a artificial cricket, uh, you'll find some things in the, like the panfish aisles. You'll be trying to cast something and you just have no weight to get it out there and this trick can be used for that as well. So, got a little tingle here started. Okay, I'll get this close again so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So Bet's popping hot. Here's your technical information. Bet's tackle LTD. And that's the way they want you to rig it with their particular stuff, so they make more money. Using a nine-foot rod. I think this is more like a seven-foot rod of what I'm using now. So they'll work nonetheless. But I can upgrade this to just a, a, a fly if I want to, of whatever type. Same concept. If you don't like the light on the bobber, don't use a light on the bobber. Weighted bobber is still going to get you out to your target, whatever you need to get. So here's my little devil. I've seen a lot of people use these as well. Uh, most common setup is the same thing except instead of putting a bobber on they'll put on some type of a weight tied onto their line uh, or, or or a bullet weight up to a certain point with a rubber band on both sides or uh, bobber stoppers whatever but they'll have it about two to three feet away like a, a harder weight toss it out and let it go from there uh, I've seen people rig those up as trout setups, setups as well One moment, I'm gonna catch this guy. My headlamp is a Energizer headlamp, if anybody's wondering. One of their hard cases, I've done a review on it. And it just occurred to me, the swivel's the right size, but just to make it look more natural, I'm gonna cut my line. So I'll take off the swivel, Gerber strong arm, silver edition, special edition. And if you must know, there's a review up on that one as well. It's nighttime, so it low visibility, so this bobber is bobbing all around and making it difficult. It's Handling up certain things. That's why fishing takes longer at night than it does in the daytime. Low visibility and you can't really see what's going on. For a much simpler knot this time. But it's such a small eye hole, I'm just gonna try it through here. And then push it through one more time for the improved, improved punch knot. All that mess is down. Yeah, multi tool, a leather and surge. 
Probably the best Leatherman ever made, in my opinion. So functional. Okay. Okay. So this will hit the water and act completely oh, perfect. <clears throat> just it'll act hit the water to act completely natural, just like it was meant to in the first place. <clears throat> This will be far away from it, it'll be sitting in the water, and I'll be able to view this from far away due to the fact it's lit. This is the Eagle Claw right in the gill. Pure ratio 50 to 1, SR 3000. It's not bad. Incredible fleeing action at the top of the rod. I like it. It's a great bass rod. Cast it out. And I doubt you can see it, but I can see my bobber straight out there due to the fact it's got a light on the bobber. Whether you're jigging it or reeling it in or however you choose to fish it. Um, right now it's floating on top of the water. But that's how you would do it. As well as for any other type of soft bait, you're trying to toss out and get out some range towards the water. That's what you're looking for. Again, this is merely for demonstration purposes to show you how you would actually fly fish. Again, this is one cast. This is the woof, 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 woof. Whatever special way you had to send your fly out in the water by getting as much line out of your, out at the same time to get it to cast out. That is what you're doing with fly rods. Um, this is 10 to 12 pound monofilament. 12 pound. Still, you can see that you can actually see it here. It's still lit up. Toss as far as I need to. And I can extend this distance. Uh, this is three feet, two to three feet. I can extend this out to four feet if I want to. Uh, uh, let's say I'm fishing uh, with a 16 foot panfish pole. Hey, even better. I can send it out even farther and drop it wherever I want to as far as flies go and let it do what I want it to do as far as a fly goes. But that's how you fly with a spin casting pole. I, I know it's dark out here and you think you'd see more in the light, but um, you, you want to see the, you know, the guy fishing, actually catch fish and do that type of stuff. I'm merely showing you how to rig it, how to cast it, how to get your line out there to where it needs to drop at, to where it needs to do what it needs to do. So. Here. It might help if I open my bag. <laughs> there we go. I'm, 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 I'm at least 25, 30 yards out there right now. One cast. <clears throat> the fly hits naturally. The fly is on the water doing whatever the fly needs to do. Um, if I need to reel in or jig it a little bit or whatever I need to do to make it look more natural I can do. If it goes underwater I will see the light 
on the bob or go underwater with it, and I know I have a fish in the line I can reel in. Um, all paying attention to that. So, I know you see a light over here on the side. I have a 500 lumen uh, Defiant flood lamp set over here on the side uh, just for better light here. But everything pitch black, it actually glows pretty nicely, and wherever it goes, I can always see it. Makes night fishing a breeze much easier to control where you're casting at and see where things go, especially with fishing weed beds or something else. Now these are flies, another bait I had picked up online I saw somebody fishing with that looked really interesting were these little miniature frogs, uh, <coughs> you can find them at uh, Walmart, they're by uh, Cream uh, True Lure, Let's turn this light off so you can see better. Uh -huh. There we go. Cinch knot. Okay. Very small, but casting this guy can be a pain for the reason that he's so lightweight. He's so, so lightweight. And you fish him just like a regular frog. And I'm seeing the guy catch bass with him. He's doing a great job. But uh, again, getting this out there to your destination can be very, very difficult. Unless you use something like a weighted bobber on your line. Again, several feet away, and uh, be able to get them to where you need them to go. Do what you need to do. Of course, again, if I'm just brim fishing or panfish or crappy uh, with worms or crickets or whatever, uh, bobber again, except I want about a foot of line here. Anywhere from 6 inches to, I don't know, 16 to 18 inches of line away from my uh, hook and uh, a little, uh, I like removable slip shot because I can use them again, but a removable slip shot right here, I'd say uh, uh, <clears throat> one quarter, uh, one quarter weight. <clears throat> and then your hook and go from there. Try smaller hooks, smaller hooks, uh, number six, number four, number six for panfish or uh, crappy or brim bait fish um, I'd go that route first so anyways that's how to do that and um, I will catch you guys in the next video thanks for seeing me this evening